first vlog vlog <laughs> with me in it um and today i'm gonna pretty pretty much talking about what i'm packing in my hospital bag for the baby um so where do i begin i actually didn't follow any checklists i was like anti-checklist i was like nah too overwhelming um it just even when i tried to follow a checklist it filled up this baby bag it was like full to the top and then i needed like a tote bag and i was like oh my god how many bags am i gonna bloody be carrying to the hospital so i just wanted something that was going to be quick simple and easy and i posted on my story and was like simple things you know or essentials that i would need going into hospital and um i had a lot of mama friends that had messaged me colleagues that were you know had kids as well um family friends and they were like oh yeah girl i got you this is what you need this is all you need to pack and that was really really helpful for me because um it took away the stress of thinking oh my god i need to follow a checklist and am i missing something and constantly thinking about it so it made my life so much easier but i have probably repacked my baby bag like three times <laughs> I just keep thinking, oh my God, shit, I forgot this. Oh, oh no, 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 forgot that. Oh, I'm gonna need this. And now I've opened up it again because I've actually just thought that majority of the jumpsuits and everything that I've packed is for towards three months. And that's just gonna be a little bit too big. And I'm like, I'm not really, I haven't packed anything in case Bubs is too small or, so I wanna be prepared for both. So I thought, I'm pack, I'm gonna vlog about this. <laughs> One thing I'm gonna start with is my Mimco baby bag, which pretty stock standard, but I looked at heaps, you know, um, from the designer ones to the basic ones. Um, there was just not one that I was actually quite happy with other than the Mimco one, and it seems to have all the pocket space that I need. Yes, I've already packed like 20 nappies in there, <laughs> so they're all good to go in there. Um, but yeah, it's amazing, and it's really, really lightweight, easy to clean, so that's what I wanted when... I was looking for a baby bag. Didn't really need all the extras. And some of those um, baby bags you find in baby bunting are just too overwhelming, like compartments here. And like, it, like, it kind of looks like a mini esky. I was like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna start with blanket. So we bought this blanket from baby bunting and it's just a pink fluffy one that we can wrap bubs in we also have a knitted one uh, which i think i've popped it in another bag but um that one will be for when we actually snuggle bubs this one's sort of just a lighter one to keep if we want to cuddle her or keep her close um now wipes i've packed a full pack of baby wipes <laughs> Um, and along with that, I've just sort of got the baby starter kit, which has sort of got all the body washes, soaps, um, oils, moisturizers, things like that. It's really, really good to take to the hospital. Um, cause I, I'm assuming I'm going to need that. Um, I also packed the Johnson's range, which I'm going to bring and just see what I sort of feel like using in there. I've put two, um, bath washes. Uh, for bugs, a massive on Ziploc bags, like, this is my OCD. <laughs> um, and you can ask my partner, Jeremy, because everything that I ask him to put away, I'm like, Ziploc that shit. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's me being organized there. In here, again with the Ziploc bags, <laughs> I've placed two swaddles or muslin wraps in there, um, and a love to dream um, onesie. Um, not too sure. The only reason I've only really packed one is because I'm just not sure if Bubs is going to like that. Um, I hear so many good things about them, but, um, yeah, you just don't know. Some babies like to be swaddled like that. Some of them like to have their arms up. So I've popped them in the one bag so that we have both options. Um, I've packed, I've got these as a gift. They're super cute from Seed. And they're just little booties, which make a noise. <laughs> they're super, super cute. They're so tiny. Um, so I'm gonna bring them um, along with these socks, which is so fluffy and they're so, so little. Like, oh my God, 
sometimes I buy things and I'm like, how can this little, little human fit into this? So I've got them in gray and then I've got them in pink. So I've got them three put together. Also went to Bond and just bought like a whole heap of basics, um, like body suits and jumpsuits and just stuff that baby's gonna obviously wear um, while she's little. Um, but this was really cute. This was just like a beanie, booties and mitts, all in the one set. And I was like, yep, yeah, done. That just goes straight in the bag. <laughs> so that's really, really cute. So I'll pop that in there as well. I've got a bib as well. Just a simple one that just, just a Velcro one. I'm pretty sure I got this one from like Kmart or something. Um, so I will take that. This is actually a nappy, a diaper towel or something like that. They come in a big pack and we got it given as, as a gift. And um, the mums said to us that they'd be great for, you know, um, if baby spews or there's any accidents, you know, it's so easy to just clean them up. You've got a big sheet and it's just so easy to just throw on your shoulder. Um, so I was like, that's a great idea. So I'll pack one of them. Oh, and I've also got pseudo cream. <laughs> and my nappies are already in my bag. So I've packed about 15 to 20 nappies. Um, Cause then again, I've also prepared just in case I am gonna be at the hospital for a C, I don't know, um, for an extra couple of nights. So I have packed that extra nappies in case. <laughs> um, I've got given this. So we're gonna bring this along and see what Bubs prefers. You know, she might want this little one or she might want her daddy's first titty. <laughs> so Jeremy uh, actually bought this for her. Um, as her first little teddy bear. Um, we also got given this, which is um, a really, really good baby book. And it's just got like, you know, things, hands, feet, you know, milestone events, the first, that sort of thing. We've already sort of pre-filled it in, um, but there is stuff in there about, um, you know, the arrival. So I thought, hmm. When Bubs is resting and I'm resting and there's nothing more for us to do, then that would be a great way for me to just kill time is to actually fill that in while my memory's fresh. So I'm gonna pop that in there in the um, bag as well. Along with that, I do have her bib. I mean her bib, her dummy. <laughs> her dummy. Um, and yes, there is a clip attached, but I've got my hand over it because we have her name on it. Um, and we haven't shared the name, so ooh, nearly gave it away. <laughs> so um, this is from CMC Gold and it's actually customized. I picked the colors to match. Um, and it's got her dummy attached, so we'll pack that along. CMC have really, really good baby stuff. Um, we also got the birthing card, which we'll fill in obviously when she arrives. And so it just says like, hello world, and you can fill in the details there. And I thought that would be a really, really sweet plaque to keep. Um, and you know, obviously pop it into this book um, as she grows up. Um, another thing I also thought of with that baby book is to take this. So one of my requests uh, when I do go into hospital and into labor is that I said to Jeremy that we would be turning off our phones, putting them on do not disturb and um, sort of just enjoying the moment. That's what I wanted. Yes, crazy for someone that's always on their phone and on social media, but I just sort of wanted the peace and quiet and to be able to enjoy, I guess, the moment. So we will be putting out the phones on Do Not Disturb. And um, I think this might be a good distraction to sort of, you know, just only take photos and videos and capture the moment. So we will be bringing that along with some film. Um, so that will be packed. Um, Jumpsuits, <laughs> jumpsuits. I think this is where I got confused the most because I was like, I was a big baby. I was nine and a half pounds. So my mum thought she was having twins and you know, Jeremy is a twin. And I'm like, oh my God, this baby, we measured two weeks or three weeks ago and she was two and a half kilos. So I was like, wow, like big baby. Um, so all I have ever packed is like stuff for three months. I haven't really considered, oh my God, well, she's tiny if, She's tiny. I don't have anything that's gonna fit her. So um, 
I've sort of just crossed it with, you know, one or two that are like, it might be one size newborn and one, you know, zero to three months. And we'll just see how we go with that. So I've got her these little, little cute leggings from Bonds. Um, they're so tiny, my God. <laughs> um, so I'll pack them. Just one pair, I think, is going to be enough. Um, and I've got her the t-shirt onesie, the sleeveless onesie, and I'm also going to pack two singlets as well. Two singlets. Don't know if I'll need them, but better to better just bring them. Um, and as for one onesies, I've packed like um, long sleeve because it's winter. It's very very cold, so I packed one. Plain one, two, three, four. So this one's actually a sleeping one, which is really, I just don't know if she'll fit into that, but I always pick them up and go, mm, she might, might not fit, but we're packing it. <laughs> um, and this one's a newborn one, which is gonna be good if she fits into that one. So I do have several jumpsuits for her, so we can sort of trial and error and see what fits her best, which is good. I'd rather come prepared than not prepared and she goes home in a blanket. <laughs> um, so that's pretty much it. I haven't gone too crazy with, um, you know, packing too much. Um, what I have done is actually gone and repacked my hospital bag because the, I, that was the one thing that I thought was like, oh, I won't really need much for my hospital bag. And now that I'm getting close to my due date, I'm like, oh my God, I need that. I'm definitely going to need this. Oh my God, I'm going to need that. <laughs> so I've gone and just emptied it all out and I'm just going to repack it. And I actually will do a video about that um, because a lot of my labor bag has been from, um, you know, other girlfriends' labor experiences. So what they suggested that I should pack, um, a lot of them are from another antenatal class as well. There was a midwife for suggesting what to put in there to help with birth as well. And, you know, we don't know how long we're going to be in labor for, so... I am going to go through that one a bit more detail. Um, so that will be an exciting video for me to shoot. But I hope you enjoyed watching my baby hospital bag <laughs> uh, video. And I hope it just helps all the mummers to be and not get too confused and overwhelmed with checklists. Um, because then today it's your baby, it's your birth. Um, and as long as you're comfortable, it's in your bag and you know you know you've got some suggestions from friends or other mum mums that have had kids then that's enough but if you are someone that prefers checklists and wants to go over checklists then that's also fine there's no judgment at all but this was um my little set that i packed which is now going to be thrown into the bag and left alone this time say so thank you for watching <laughs>